Welcome guys, today I'm just going to show you quickly how to identify a fake Stone Island badge versus a real. So, add for two here, which one do you guys think is fake or which one do you think is real? The real one is this one on the right, the fake is on the left. If you've got them in person, the best thing to do is just flip them over. And the best way to identify fake versus real is on the back, as you'll notice the fake, it has a few white threads that don't match the rest of the badge detailing. This sh shouldn't be like this, as you see on the real, there's no loose threads. And the second thing you notice is sometimes what tends to happen to do is tend to rub at the back of the stitching, which makes you see some white marks there, as you can see. The fakes don't have any white markings unless it's done purposely, but it does not come out as nicely as the real one does here. One other tip that people say a lot is if you press the box together, it will not come to a perfect rectangle, but with these high quality reps, it also doesn't come to a perfect rectangle. But as we can see even on the reps and on the real one here, they both have these like little drop stitches, so these aren't the best ways to identify either. The second way, quite an obvious way, is look at the quality of the badges. The real badge is a perfect circle. This is the best way to see. If you turn it vertically, you'll notice it's a perfect circle, whereas with this one, it's quite hard to see. You'd think it looks almost like a perfect circle, but as soon as you flip it around, you notice that it isn't. It's in fact quite narrow. So that's also another way to check quickly. Also the stitching, so you can see it's lighter on the original. The original's here at the back. And also the stitching is better quality. Also the material should be quite like a silky finish on the back here. It's quite smooth. Again, you can see the rubbing of the stitching making it half white, half yellow, half green. So that's a real good indication to look for nowadays. If you see the white bit on the back, most of the time it is a genuine, but if you've also got to look for the other steps as well. So a little bit of a checklist, I'd probably say. Is it a perfect circle? If yes, that's good. If you fold it, will it form a perfect rectangle? If it doesn't form a perfect rectangle, that's good. Is there white bits on the back of the stitching? If there is, that's good. Is the material silky? Yes. Is there the drop stitches on either side and also you'll see one cool is this one a yellow one here and also there should be a green one there and if there is all that then you've got all the right signs thanks for watching and uh, peace